Wow. Good morning, you guys. Long time no talk, long time no see. Um, it's been like three weeks since I posted on YouTube, and I am very sorry for that. I actually pride myself and literally love being consistent on YouTube because it is one of my favorite social media platforms, and I think it's like so fun and just easy. Um, and yeah, I literally love it. But we have been so busy. One, our small business, he would love first, wearing it now, wearing it always in the vlogs. I just spilled coffee all over myself as I said that. Welcome to a day in my life, you guys. Spilling coffee on He Would Love First. Okay, sorry. We had a big He Would Love First sale, so we were super, super, super busy with that. And then I also helped lead and speak at a retreat in Kansas City, Missouri. So just a lot of my focus and energy, um, mental, spiritual, emotional, all the things was like focused on that, praying towards that writing a message and just preparing and all the things. Um, so yeah, basically just didn't have time to sit down and edit like the three vlogs that are kind of like in this video. So I just combined them into one 45 minute long vlog and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's so fun and so many fun random little things that we got to do and also just some fun casual day in the life kind of content too. But the first the first little bit is a weekend in my life and there's a weekend left that continues right after that and then I have some clips from a little lake celebration weekend we did for He Would Love First after the sale. Then I also have some clips from the retreat that I helped at. So it's a little bit all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you stick around to subscribe because we have so much fun around here. Okay, let's get into this video. Good morning, you guys. So. It is now about 9 a.m. Casey, are you tired? No! Oh. Whoa! So, I just decided to do a little like weekend in my life vlog for us because we haven't been home in a while and we're home this weekend. I have like anything fun planned necessarily, but honestly, every day just ends up being fun when you're young and in love, you know? That's right. <laughs> um, and we just like, I don't know, just have good chill weekends where we live. So I was like, we'll take them along. But this morning, it is Friday morning. We got up at like 6 a.m. Casey is an angel, angel boo thing for getting up at like 6, which we Brownie get up. Brownie points. We get up early anyways, but got up really early today to go to downtown Atlanta, which is where we are now, for a sunrise photo shoot <laughs> on top of a parking garage. <laughs> Um, because my little fitness account, I shouldn't say little, it's, it's doing big things, you know? Not little. I, it used to be called Healthy Eats for like the longest time. Healthy Eats, but like Eats, you know? And I changed the name to Catherine Staley and I'm kind of like rebranding it as like just daily like fitness, wellness, food, like lifestyle, motivation kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it's called Catherine Staley. If you don't follow it, you should. It's so fun. We have a lot of fun around there, you know, just like we do here. But we went and did a shoot for that because I hit 8K followers, hello, which is crazy just because I've never like taken this account very seriously. It's always just been like, if I want to film my workout, I'll like do it and post it on there because I don't want to post like it to my main account or whatever. Um, just because I love fitness and working out. Um, so yeah, I am kind of trying to take it seriously and because I feel like I know a lot about fitness and working out and nutrition because like literally that's what I did in college. I was a college athlete and then also it's what I studied. I was a health science nutrition major so long story but we're rebranding Catherine Staley and you should follow along. So we did a shoot for that to just celebrate 8k followers and we're also doing a fun giveaway with some of my favorite supplements. So this will not be posted in time. The giveaway will have already happened but you can go check it out if you want. So yeah, we took pictures for that fun giveaway and now we're headed to a coffee shop. I'm gonna edit pictures and videos on my phone and Casey Boo is going to work a little bit and we're just gonna have a good little coffee shop hang and then probably head back and get my work done at home and stuff. But I just look how cute these little shops are. I just love Atlanta, it's so cute. to vlog when we went to the warehouse and got some work done there and then I came back made some juice did a bunch of work on my phone and my computer and now I'm about to go to another gym sesh in our apartment gym um, and just get some movement in because I've been sitting pretty much all day except for when I ran around on top of the 
city building we were in for the sunrise this morning. So yeah, gonna go work out and then gonna clean up <laughs> this apartment a little because she's a wreck. And then we're going to watch my sister race tonight at Emory, which is in downtown Atlanta because she runs in college for a school and they're gonna be running at Emory tonight. So we'll get to go see her race and then we're gonna go get dinner together. And yeah, this has just been a really fun day. And I kind of forgot to vlog since one, it's been fun and two, I was literally just editing stuff on my phone, which is not really fun to vlog. So yeah, we're gonna go work out now and I'll put some clips of that in here. Stacy's making me car fart, cheeky boy. So Sarah's race, she absolutely crushed it. She got second place. She almost won, honestly, but she PR'd, she ran, which PR means personal record, if you're not familiar with the track and field cross country world. Her time was 17, 17.49 for a 5K. That is so good. It is like so hard to break 18 minutes in a 5K. Like granted, when you're on a track, it's flat, whatever. Like people will say it's easier, but breaking 18 minutes in a 5K is a big deal. And she's been trying to do it forever and she did it. So I'm very proud of her. It was a great, yeah, proud big sure sister wrong. moment, you know? Casey thinks it's his, re he thinks that she pure because of him cheering. I, did, I don't think because we cheer. Also we're passing pawns right now, going to dinner and look how cute she is. We love Atlanta. This is like where we went on all our first dates. Very cute. Pond City, we love her touristy self. Anyways, we're going to a restaurant for some tacos because that's what Sarah was craving. And Runner Girl gets what Runner Girl wants. So we're Wait, going to only get when some she tacos. PRs though. Only when she PRs, but also when she doesn't because racing is hard either way. But yeah, we're at Tacos and Tequila, getting some tacos, hanging out, getting some tacos. Hanging out. <laughs> I didn't have the camera on my face. Getting some tacos, hanging out, and just gonna have a good night. So yeah, we're about to go get some tacos. Morning, fam. Um, <laughs> this morning, Kat couldn't find her attachment for her tripod. She was turning the place upside down, and I just casually walked in her bag, dug through it a little bit, and found it. And so I am off to a great start today. Yes, good job, baby. Just an emotional day, so I just 
took some time to be with Jesus and cleaned the entire apartment like in detail. Like it is so clean in here. I'm not gonna show you because you guys have seen my apartment a million times, but it's very clean. And now we're gonna go get some sushi. Sushi. Per usual. So yeah, we're gonna walk to sushi and then come back and maybe have a movie night or something like that. Oh, yeah. Something casual, but I'll vlog better tomorrow. Okay, see you at sushi. <laughs> Georgia called Northlands. We love it so much. So if you're in the area and you need a church to try out, um, come to Northlands with us. Uh, DM me and I can save you a seat or something like that. But yeah, we love it. It's a super small, intimate church um, with lots of opportunity for discipleship and growth. Anyways, I'm done with the spill on my church, but we're going to church this morning. And then the rest of the day, Sundays are our like Sabbath. So technically I shouldn't even be like recording this video, but I have fun doing this. It's not like work. So I was like, I think it's okay this time. But normally I try not to be like filming anything or anything like that on Sundays because it's our Sabbath. But we don't really plan a lot, that being said. So we don't really have too much planned for today. We'll kind of just take it moment by moment. Maybe go get brunch after church. Maybe do a workout. Casey's mom is an artist and she's painting um, the like logo for a coffee shop that a friend of ours is opening downtown Atlanta. So we may go hang out with her, drink some coffee while she paints, just hang out a little read. Um, but yeah, Sabbath Sundays are super chill and just a day. Um, for rest and we're excited. So yeah, we're gonna go to church and then have a great rest of the day. Coming to see Captain make breakfast, right, even though it's breakfast. one o'clock. Wow. <laughs> I think we need one more. So these are the more organic, healthy ones, and those are the normal ones. Got it. Oh no, my toast is burning. Oh, Some stuff to juice here. Ooh. What are we making tonight? I'm excited. Okay, yeah, I like some, I'm uh, gonna rolls. Good. Okay. Thank All right, this is what we're working with. Some avocado toast fresh sea salt and lime juice and some fresh organic eggs. So good. This is my favorite Sunday brunch. Mmm, such a kiss. Alright fam, it's now like 4 p.m. We're gonna go to the coffee shop to watch Casey's mom paint slash just hang out with her, not really to watch her paint. But we're gonna go hang out in Atlanta a little bit.
Yo, 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 what's up fam? We are back from Atlanta. If it's loud out there or in there, it's because I have laundry going and Casey's watching soccer. So lots of chaotic energy. That's why we're in the bedroom vlogging. I don't normally vlog in here, I feel like. Anyways though, we're back. We're making dinner. I'm in the kitchen chopping up some potatoes and making some chicken and some veggies. I'm gonna do a cute little cooking montage in a second, but we're gonna watch March Madness tonight, aka we're just watching basketball. Um, and our brother and sister-in-law, Carly and Avery, who also live here, um, will be coming over and hanging with us. Casey's dad might come. So just a good quality dinner family night in. So yeah, cue um, the cooking montage now. You're propped up in the car, so that's why it's such a weird angle. But we are headed to the gym, and I wanted to do a little week in my life vlog because we haven't done that in a minute. So, yeah, this is gonna be a fun couple days in our life at home, getting back in routine. This is Casey, I can't move the camera. Uh, I don't know. Workout at Crunch at our gym. What? He's making fun of me. Your random accents, you just like, oh, I don't If they're cool. subscribed, they know that the random accents just come out. <laughs> but we just had a great, wow, he's speeding up a lot. We just had a great workout. Um, I did some legs, a little booty burn. There were no squat racks available, which both of us were very sad about. But I took the opportunity to film a little workout for my fitness page, Catherine Staley, and I'm going to like market it or like do it as a workout for girls who are scared of barbells or don't like barbells because that's a lot of girls and it used to be me. And then also there's sometimes just not a barbell available. So good little non barbell booty workout coming your way soon if you follow Catherine Staley. Yeah, I'm gonna make an awesome bowl, start my work. Is this a meeting with Schultz? I have a meeting for He Would Love First. I need to hop on at one, but I'll probably just work until that since he's going to be on this meeting. And yeah, and then later today I have a massage scheduled because my back has been insanely tight from just like sitting in the car, like hovering over my computer. You know, you get this posture. It's just, if you work at your computer, you know. I also have scoliosis so my back. My left side just gets so freaking tight. I'll stop rambling about my back now, but that's why we're getting a massage to help Not me. it. Yeah. When she says we, she means her. Not well, I have class pass, and so I can get a massage on class pass. But yeah, that's kind of what today looks like, and we'll take you along from there. So let's go make a smoogle. 
Hey fam, so it's a good bit later. The past like three hours while I recorded my smoothie bowl video, that took forever. That ate my bowl while I edited the video, posted it on TikTok, and then I worked on my computer, answered all my emails for the day, um, posted some encouraging words on like the Elle Sister app that I'm an ambassador for, and yeah, kind of just caught up on a lot of things I needed to do. I made a TikTok to post tonight, just kind of an inspiration encouraging one. Um, and now I'm about to go get my massage because my back is hurting so bad and I'm hoping that it can fix it. So yeah, I'm going to get my massage and I will bring you along. That was literally so good. I like fell asleep hardcore at the end and I have contacts in my eyes because I like have to use contacts to see. And literally whenever I close my eyes in contacts for a long time, they like do not reopen. So for the rest of the day, I'm probably just gonna be like, cause I don't know, it just like dries them out when you close your eyes for a long time. And then they take forever to get back to normal. So yeah, Case and I are about to run to the grocery store to get some more stuff for dinner. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Look, he's just waiting here for me to go get groceries. What a sweet boy. You had the keys, didn't you? I accidentally took our apartment keys while I was at my massage, so... I'm sorry. He's been sitting here for two hours. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cilantro lime rice, Honestly, lean chicken, like ground up with avocado and sauce. Literally just looks like a straight Gaines meal. In case he with his bro head bitten on. We also used the Instapot tonight and I figured it out pretty good. I think I made a little, I put too much water. It's a little mushy, but it tastes really good. So, signing off for the night because we'll start back tomorrow. Come back later for <laughs> another time. <laughs> days later and we're just getting our morning start here around 9 30 because we had a date night last night and watched soccer till really late um so we slept in a little bit this morning that's okay sometimes i literally sound so sick and my face is so puffy and dry because i'm like bad allergic to pollen so sorry that the vlog is gonna sound like a, this because pollen so yeah i'm gonna go make some coffee <laughs> Did some worship music, like put my plants outside, just had a cozy morning, and then I did like a super deep Instagram post on like something I've been struggling about. Here it is like on faith and just like how the Lord views us. I'm in a Bible study right now on transforming our minds to the mind of Christ, and it's just so good. And, anyways, I just like love the caption for me. I was like, I need to believe this, so I'm hoping that helps other people too. But we had our quiet time, did like my Instagram post for the day. I try to post once on Kat Schultis and once on Catherine's Daily, which honestly, like, that doesn't sound hard, but like making sure you have a picture to post every day is actually like really hard. And like, especially like on Kat Schultis, when I try to like write deeper captions, I can't just like come up with stuff. It's like as God gives it to me. So sometimes it's like, haha, beach day <laughs> for the caption because it's like I didn't get some like deep revelation or like super encouraging thing. Um, but yeah, anyways, so we did that and now I'm about to make some fresh pressed juice. If you um, are subscribed, you know we make this like every freaking day. But yeah, I'm about to make some veggies and like fruit juice and morning it is so good and refreshing and just makes me feel so much better and since I mentioned earlier like my allergies are so bad <laughs> I'm hoping it will kind of like kickstart like the ginger shot you know like kind of just cleanse everything out 
maybe we'll see but also like something else is like very exciting that i'm probably not allowed to like say but casey's not listening so i'll say it um but we're in the works of potentially i don't know if you guys follow like any of the little influencer cute beach girls who go on trips with like companies like influencer like companies will like come up with a new collection and like send a couple influencers to like a beach airbnb or like i think one group of friends i follow went to paris for like some bougie winter line whatever with a company um gray bandit does it a lot it's like a online boutique rl swim does it a lot but a lot of companies will like do these little like content weekends for girls who like to do that and i mean i like content and i have a ton of friends who do and he would look first is always needing more content and we have a massive sale literally by the time the sale is happening, this video won't be posted, so I can talk about it. But but literally, the sale is 50% off every single thing in our, like, store. Like, all of the warehouse, 50% off. Um, which is a massive, massive sale for, like, everything. Because some of it, like, we won't even make a profit on, and some of it, obviously, we will. But for everything to be 50% off is a lot for a company to do. Honestly, probably bigger than, like, even our Black Friday sales. I'm literally wearing He Would Love First as I talk about the sale. Oh, that's good. Um, but it's our April Fool's Day sale, and we did this last year, and it was, like, the best sale we have ever done. And you basically say, like, as a business, like, going out of business sale. Like, so everyone freaks out. Like, oh, my gosh, this company, like, I like them. They're going out of business. Like, what should I get? Like, everything's 50% off. But the code is April Fool's Day. And so it's, like, then they're, like, oh, wait. Like, it's a joke. But then they're all, like, in the mood to buy something. So they still, like, buy something. Uh, just, like, from a business standpoint, not necessarily, like, ministry standpoint, it is a great sale idea. So if you need it, that's what we do on April Fool's. In case you said that if the sale goes well. I'm allowed to plan like a content influencer like girlies weekend which I have wanted to do for over a year now. I literally like scour the internet for cheap Airbnbs on like the 38 side or the Atlantic side on the beach for like content weekends because I think like so many brands have done this and it's just worked so well and their content is so organic and cute and also if you have influencers like wanting to post on like a trip like it's just gonna boost like your brand and like it's just also so fun and I just want to go to the beach with my friends. So I've wanted to do this for so long and I really hope this sale goes well because we do a little trip like this. Um, so hopefully that will happen girls but it would be so fun and yeah so anyways i'm gonna go make some fresh pressed juice and then get to emails and working on my computer <laughs> not to be too loud but look at this design i want them to do a sweatsuit sweatsuit of this design it's really so bad like it is so cute so cute i put it on because we're about to go take pictures of like five of their new products because we have a big sale tomorrow so we're dropping new products with it um so i have like five other things i'm not showing you yet um maybe i'll show some of the pictures the montage or whatever of our little shoot but we're gonna go outside and get pictures of this one a bit later you guys we're watching a movie i'm eating some halo top um and we just ate leftovers for dinner so today i've not been the best of vlogging it's okay we're living life in the real moment we'll be back tomorrow <laughs> So 
it's the next day and Hewilla first biggest sale of the year is running today so we've been taking the morning to get ready for that and I'm about to hop on a Zoom call to practice my message for the fitness and body image retreat that I'm helping with slash speaking at next weekend. I'm so nervous for speaking so it's really good. Sorry my hair is so messy from waking up but it's really good that we're practicing a little bit today and Monday. Um, just running through our messages, me and Arden, the girl who runs Kingdom Heart, the ministry that's doing this retreat, um, are just kind of very both new to speaking. And so we're running through our messages, praying over the retreat, and it's going to be a great little Zoom call. I'm so excited. So we're about to do that. And then I'll update you on how the Hewitt Love First Sale is going. Okay, it's like two hours later. I just Zoom called with Arden. Literally both of our messages were like so jam-packed with so much meat, scripture, and just good stuff. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited for the retreat. Um, hopefully I can get this vlog up before the retreat. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, but anyways, that was super good. And he would love for sale is going so good. We're so thankful for anyone who shops um, our small business. It is so fun running this company, even though I don't do that much. Casey over there does most of it and the other boys. But anyways, uh, it's going so good. Having so much fun. And I'm about to make fresh pressed juice. Every single day, baby, that's what we do. And then go on a little walk because I've been sitting so long practicing that message and just getting stuff done this morning. So I need to move my body a little. So we're gonna go on a walk and make some fresh pressed juice. <laughs> I want to do a fun unboxing haul, which I don't normally do these because I'm not someone who gets a ton of packages in the mail. Like, I get some occasionally, but I feel like I've been doing a lot better job reaching out to brands because I am trying to grow like my wellness Instagram, Catherine Staley. Um, my personal one is more so just for ministry and fun, but the Catherine Staley one, I would love to work with fitness wellness stuff because that's something I'm super passionate about. So anyway, I've been working hard on that and we have some fun brands either for TikTok, um, or Catherine Staley, one or two things for Cash Holtis Instagram. Um, just like random stuff, so I'm excited to show you guys. So we'll start off with some of the less exciting ones and I'll like work my way up. So this is a sustainable water bottle. So I'm working with a brand called Primo. I actually worked with them like so long ago. They have amazing water filters. So they're sending us like a really big like water like stand filter that you like do the refillable jugs you put in it or whatever and it comes out cold. Um, and this version we're getting, I'll talk about it more on like Catherine Staley, my wellness Instagram, but it literally has a like section to heat up water to the perfect temperature to like heat up baby food or like to mix with formula for like a baby bottle, which I'm not pregnant. We're not hinting at anything, but it was white and pretty. And I was also like, this could come in major clutch someday. Like when I am done breastfeeding and like could just literally be able to push a button to mix with formula. So it would be super nice. So anyways, that's coming in the mail, but this is the water bottle that they gave me to like promote with it about sustainability and using reusable water bottles. So that's what that is. Next is Hilma. So you can see here it says natural remedies. I don't just trust like any supplement brand. Like I am very selective because I don't like to take a ton of supplements, even though I think they're super beneficial. But from Hilma, the one that I got is called Stomach Reset. And so it's just got natural things in it, like chamomile, ginger, and things like that, like roots and herbs to kind of help soothe the stomach ache. They have several other wellness options. I'm not sure what they are, because I remember I just wanted this one. Next we have a package from David's Toothpaste. They sent me like six different flavors of toothpaste, literally like spearmint, peppermint. There's a couple other ones, but it's fluoride free, natural toothpaste. The branding is literally so cute. We already opened this one and we're using it. Um, it tastes amazing and it's just supposed to be like, and it's supposed to be better for you. We've always kind of used more basic, um, not healthier, but just try to use an organic root with toothpaste because it's kind of like toxic things you can be putting in your body every day. And they just reached out via email. I was like, shoot, I would love to like try your toothpaste. Sure, we're out of toothpaste anyways. So I needed to buy some. So they sent that and this is Bento. I'm super excited about this one. And you, your daily package of supplements and it says like what each one is for. So for example, once again, we're not trying to get pregnant, but I am someone who, and this is a fear that like is, has no place and like is not valid, but I'm just like scared of being infertile someday. And so even now, like that we're using more natural birth control, like I take prenatals just in case something were to happen because it's good to take prenatals just to be prepared in case you do get pregnant if you're having <laughs> sex when you're married and stuff. So anyways, I got kind of like almost a, a plan of supplements to 
get pregnant within the next like two years. I just told them, I was like, ah, uh, I would just like to make sure everything is healthy down there. Cause you fill out like a quiz of like kind of what you want to take supplements for and stuff. So I'm going to go through like which ones they sent me to take daily. So the first one is fish oil. Fish oil, we all know has good omega-3 like fatty acids, um, but these help with hormone regulation, uterine health, so your uterus, obviously where you get pregnant, um, fetal brain health and development and with inflammation. So super good if you're pregnant. This one is called My Bento MAC, a powerful antioxidant for hormonal balance, cycle regulation, and ovulary, ovulatory support. My cycle has also been insanely weird since I got my IUD out. I had a hormonal IUD last year or the year before when we got married. I kept it in for a year, just didn't really get a real period and was just kind of scared of the hormones and did a lot more research on IUDs and honestly they're just not really good for you at all and I would never ever ever recommend getting one um so anyway still trying to regulate my period and some of my hormones from that so it's another reason that I kind of got this set of hormonally focused um supplements this one is a base blend so I think they send this to pretty much anyone a blend of essential vitamins and minerals to support your thyroid health and bone health I need that Bento Symbiotic, a powerful probiotic with a prebiotic blend. If you don't know, probiotic is the good gut bacteria in your stomach that helps you like digest things. And prebiotic is what probiotics, the good bacteria, feed off of. So like a lot of green veggies have a prebiotic, which is like what you need to feed to your gut to help nourish those probiotics. So my Bento Symbiotic right here, a powerful probiotic with a prebiotic blend made with specific lactobacillus strains to support your vaginal, gut, and mental health. I need the mental health all day, baby, all day. And then this last one is like literally their prenatal. Right now I'm taking Ancient Nutrition's prenatal, but I think this one will be super good too. Built to support a healthy pregnancy with iron, vitamin D, folate, and helps fight morning sickness. If I was pregnant, hopefully this actually helps fight morning sickness because I'm like I'm so nervous about that. Um, with a built-in peppermint and ginger oil. So yeah, all of their supplements have a lot of natural things they explain super well. I'm not even like trying to plug this. Like I'm not supposed to do a YouTube video. I'm just like excited to are taking these daily and they're just like really cute very excited for this and very thankful because i don't think kind of like healing from that iud experience i am really wanting to completely regulate and fix anything that might have gotten messed up so that's why i'm taking that and this is actually a collab for cat this packaging it came in was way cuter but i like already opened it because i had to film a reel for it so i'm just going to kind of show you the thing that i'm working with on instagram is for their new dry shampoo this brand is called davines and Y'all, I literally opened the package. Like I could smell the package from outside the package when I got it. This dry shampoo works amazing and it's like colorless. So normally when you spray dry shampoo, it like turns your head gray. This doesn't do any color at all. And it's literally amazing. So if you see the reel on Instagram, I promise like I love it so much. And they also sent like so much other hair goodies I'm gonna go through real quick. I haven't used these yet. I've used the dry shampoo like every day, but if you know me, I wash my hair like once a week. So <laughs> it kind of takes me a while to get to hair care products. But this one is a rich conditioner. Like their packaging is all beautiful. All of the ingredients are so good and natural. This one is, I think, a heat protectant spray. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a sea salt spray. So like kind of to help with like beach waves and stuff like that. Once again, packaging so cute, ingredients great. I'm so excited to use this at the beach. Kind of like a, like an oil or like milk, like spray on just for like hair health. This one is silkening shampoo so it goes with the conditioner super cute packaging i'm obsessed with this guys this is a hair mask look at the packaging you guys i'm obsessed with it it's so cute some of their products are sold at target if you do just want to like browse but i'm very excited to use this like little like hair mask and do a face mask for maybe like teeth whitening just have a total self-care moment maybe you'll see that in a future vlog I'm also so excited to do this because since I use so much dry shampoo in my hair, there's a lot of like buildup and dandruff sometimes, which it doesn't really show unless I'm like scrubbing with shampoo and I like notice like there's a lot of buildup on my scalp, but this is a sea salt cleanser like for your scalp. So you can like scrub it, deep cleansing paste for all hair types for me, removes buildup and pollution particles. So basically just kind of like cleans everything out like from your hair follicles, from your hair and just like your scalp. And I'm so excited because it just sounds like once again, a total self care moment and it smells so good. It's some more of that oil just to kind of like give your hair added nutrients. I think this one is heat protectant. Hair shield, yeah. So anyway, that's it for the beans. Oh, and then I have three more. This one is supplements for Catherine Staley. These are little packets of just super micro nutrient dense things like turmeric. This one has like chai, lots of micronutrients in them and you add them to smoothies or oatmeal or whatever just to get your added nutrients a little bit. And I think you can also make like lattes with stuff with them. I still need to try them out, but super great. So excited for I ordered it on Amazon. 
but I already have one disco ball hanging in our living room with our plants, but this is literally a disco ball planter. So it has these strings and you're gonna like tie it to the ceiling, hook it and have a plant in here like dangling over. It's gonna be so cute. I'll link this in the description, like the link for the Amazon one, the specific one that I got, cause you guys know you need this. It's just so cute. And then last but not least, my camera's also about to die, so perfect timing. This, this brand is called Maya Bergman and they just saw my TikToks and reached out, which is so weird because I'm not gonna get all on TikTok, but they just liked a little beach video I made and they sent me some cute dresses. They just have very timeless, like elegant, um, classy dresses and rompers and sets and stuff. So yeah, anyways, that's the haul. He always feels like he has to defend his hair, but it looks great, like does he not? I just need to address it. Wow! Copper just standing in the road with his hand in the air. Yeah. Scary. Chaotic events. Anyways though, we're on our way to the lake for a weekend with all that he would love for a squad. Well, pretty much all. Like, one or two people couldn't come. But it's gonna be so fun just like celebrating the big sale and just having a good chill weekend together. So, yeah, let's go to the lake. I don't get around, but there's something about you. Something about you I like, about you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like I get too drunk and too scared and And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like Good morning, guys. So it's the next day And I'm getting ready right now for a run They're all making breakfast in the kitchen But I'm just like not hungry yet Sometimes you know you have a couple cups of coffee You just gotta wake up You're just not hungry yet So yeah So yeah, that's how we're feeling We're getting ready to go on a run It is literally So pretty outside Beautiful Perfect temperature for a nice run So Gonna go get ready to go run. Okay guys, I'm back from my run. I'm in this super cute little tie-dye swimsuit from Popville. And I'm about to go have my green juice and go outside and play with C and just read and be in the sunshine. About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say Okay fam, I hope you've loved it so far. I know it's a little bit all over the place, but it has truly just been the most chaotic, but the best couple weeks. Um, these next couple clips that I'm gonna like outro with is honestly just a couple videos that I took kind of behind the scenes of the body image and eating disorder retreat that we did in Kansas City, Missouri. And I'm also launching Be a Blessing My Ministries tickets for our retreat that we're doing this summer. So if you struggle with insecurities, body image, or honestly just want to meet some new Christian girls as friends, like it's going to be the most amazing um, weekend in Savannah, Georgia, June 24th to the 26th. So here's a sneak peek of what went on this of what went on this past weekend. I'm actually going to 
drop the Be A Blessing tickets early because they don't launch till Wednesday, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description. So if you did watch all the way through this vlog, you get early access to the tickets link and you can sign up there. There's only 25 tickets available. So good luck getting your ticket and thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, enjoy this little outro. took a shower, my hair is wet, took a little nap, and now I'm going back in there. We're going to worship some, practice our messages, and it's going to be so fun. We're going to make some pizza for dinner, I think. We'll see. Um, and then probably call it a night really early because we are tired. But yeah. Like, um, Ellie, show me how you do this. Show me how. <laughs> 